What up, what up? Had some dinner, took a little nap. It's 2.24 a.m. And I just finished the first episode of Daily Flip. It's my brand new slog. Like a vlog, but it originates from my Snapchat story. Using Snapchat is a great way to start vlogging. You can edit it instantly on the fly. Save your story at the end of the day. Do a little touch up and upload it straight to YouTube. I don't think it gets any easier than that. Want to take a guess what time it is? If you said time to go check on the crack shack, you would be absolutely correct. Time for Friendly Flipper Tweaker Patrol. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Ah! Alright. And we're off. What up, what up? It's 3.23 a.m. We're outside of the Crack Shack. This is a house I just purchased about a month ago. It's got fire damage and then was overrun by tweakers and transients. I check it every few nights to make sure there's no one here. Any tweakers over here? Any tweak tweaks? Good. No tweakers. How about around here? We're here looking for signs of cracktivity. The place was full of junk when I bought it. Four container loads full. This gate wasn't shut like this last time. We came in here, got rid of all the trash, got rid of most of the crackheads in the process but I've still found tweakers and signs of them after that. I left the door open a certain width. Let's test it. Passes the cell phone width test. This place is pretty creepy at night. It smells like barbecue in here. There's holes in the roof. Looks like a horror scene. Hello? Anybody in here? This shovel's been in the same spot. That's a good sign. Here, tweaker, 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 tweaker. Here's the fire damaged room here. The master. You can see right up into the sky. Here, Tweaker, Tweaker. Who's here? It's got a lovely kitchen. Did I mention this place is creepy? Yeah, just a tad bit. I think they may be catching on to the cell phone with test. We'll switch it up a little bit. Check around on this side. In cleaning out this room, we found over a hundred needles right over there. Gnarly. I'm pleased to report that the crack shack is clear. Now it's time for a phone meeting with Sandy, the executive producer of Friendly Flipper Academy over at Lightspeed VT. Hey Sandy, good morning, how are you? I'm not supposed to be doing this, um, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> um, I'm basically courseware designing your shoes, um, but I want to show you what I'm doing to see if you want me to proceed with what I'm doing. Um, because if I'm changing this too much or if you're not comfortable with what it, it looks like and or sounds like, I can see your screen. Awesome. I kind of created them into one chapter. Could you have kind of a little... 
Yeah, that makes total sense. No, oh, that's that's I love it. I love. Oh. So they can type and take notes. Hey, there's Mr. Tim Grover right there. No way. That's awesome. Yeah, I like that. Just a quick quiz. I mean, there's just a few key points at the end of each chapter that we have to make sure stick and that they get out of it so i think that'll be great finding money finding houses finding buyers finding reliable contractors or finding you just have to know where it is and how to get your hands on it and getting them thinking using their noggins around to it it's in the file so i can add those pieces of interval just to take a look that's awesome where i'm explaining you know the reasoning behind what you're saying in the script so I think walking through it, do the old voiceover walkthrough. I'll get to work on the wholesale chapter and how to find the top comps and then I'll send those to you and then we can go from there. I love it. Thank you so much. And I'll send these over to you too. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Jeremy. Bye. Bye-bye. It's crunch time. In 13 days, I'll be heading to Las Vegas, Nevada to Lightspeed VT headquarters to film and record Friendly Flipper Academy, the ultimate virtual training on how to flip houses. Now to you, this may just look like an ordinary parking lot. Something very significant about this parking lot. This is the parking lot where I parked my car thousands of times, sometimes at 7 a.m., I even had my own parking spot right there. Sometimes I'd have to be here at 7, sometimes 8, sometimes 9, 10, whenever they wanted me there. Who's they, you ask? I'd march from that spot along here like the good soldier that I was, day in and day out, to Verizon Wireless. I learned a lot working at Verizon Wireless. If you can survive 11 years in a corporate retail sales environment, you're doing something right. But what I did more than that, was take the skills that I learned, sales, marketing, negotiating, follow-up, coaching people, being coached myself, and taking all of those skills that they could never take away from me, regardless of what happens with the economy, what happens with the cellular industry, what happens in my particular store with my particular management. All of that's beyond my control. There's no job security, not in corporate America. I seen them come, and watched them go, all the while living paycheck to paycheck, but learning skills that I could take with me that nobody could ever take away. I took what I learned and decided I want to start my own business. So if you're not happy with your current situation, know that you can make a decision and change the course of your life. I did, and I'm not special, but I do work damn hard. So with whatever you're doing, make sure you're extracting maximum value. There's huge value in that experience and knowledge that you can take with you wherever you go. So why am I in this parking lot today? Not to clock in at Verizon. It's time to sign closing paperwork on another flip that I just sold. That guy looks like a notary. Jeremy Rubin, the friendly flipper. Nice to meet you. Good thing I brought my ID. All right, that was painless. Got my copy of the closing paperwork. That's how we do it, boys and girls. You ever get so hungry that 
You don't even know what sounds good anymore? Yeah, I'm kind of there right now. Got me some magic beans. And you want to see my guilty pleasure? Four cheese mac and cheese. Hot dang. It's low carb, of course. Sriracha potato chips. Just got real. Mm, mm, mm.